stuck on some toes. Have you ever stuck on some toes? I sure have. Hey y'all, it's Sarah. How's my Sarah gang doing? Look you guys, I got some kaboon on deck. I'm about to make it for you guys. And this time I got water, okay? Auntie said I drink too much soda, so I'm sticking to water at the moment. Auntie, don't take it personal. I might pop over in a soda, okay? I'm trying not to. I'm trying to keep it to a limit. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Got this rice noodle. Let's see. I got my blunt. Y'all see this? Do you, can y'all see this? Look at this. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. It's flying. Ooh, did I just get it on my shirt, y'all? Embarrassing. Oops. A hot mess right now. Okay. I got some cabbage, you guys. Some long green beans. Some green onions. And some bean sprouts. Now, this is going to be a struggle to mix right now. But hold on. You saw my spoon? Huh? <laughs> Like, oh my goodness, where are her juices? Well, I like it like this. Okay, y'all. Thumbnail. Look at, let me get this chicken feet. Uh, ooh, look at this fork playing, y'all. Take it. Uh, uh, got it. Mmm, fire. Let me get this out the way, y'all. So hungry right now too. I haven't eaten all day. I know y'all know this. I did my hair. I actually straightened it. Oh my goodness. This wild child actually did some wear hair. Yeah, I did. Let's see. On this episode of Fat Loud Girl Eats. <laughs> Just kidding. I thought I felt something staring at me. It's a little bit spicy, but I like it. It's a big bite. Mm-mm. I got a piece of bone. Oh my god, that's not cute. Yeah, yeah. Them other challenges was a fail. The other ones that I did. Mm mm. Mm hmm. I ain't seen no mukbang or eat some kapoon out here. I sure did. I sure did. I mean, <clears throat> oh Lord. Water. I have quail eggs, chicken, chicken feet, y'all, chicken feet, bamboo, and all the vegetables y'all see me put in earlier. For those of you who don't know what a kapun is, it's a Lao Thai dish based. It's like a curry base. 
so it's pretty much curry paste with coconut milk that's really what it is and all the extra seasoning you guys put in but that's what it pretty much tastes like it's really good oh my god this noodle is playing or am i playing you're about to see me suck on some toes Have you ever sucked on some toes? I sure have. Not them toes, chicken toes. Mm. No, I'm so ready to go out. I feel like I've been cooped up in this house, apartment. Ooh, this water is so good. You right, Auntie. You right and good. I see you. You kept you looking out for my diabetes. No, I ain't got it, y'all. Don't be mean. Anyways, <clears throat> how have you guys been liking my channel? Are you guys enjoying yourself? Are y'all enjoying me eat? Are y'all even fully watching my channel? I know y'all say y'all supporting, but supporting helps a little more when you fully watch the actual videos. I'll take it all though. Y'all can do it all. Like it, dislike it. You guys, I'm confused. I've been getting a lot of views, but I only get like one tenth or one fifteenth of the likes. Like, do y'all not like me? Mm. You guys, for real though? Chicken feet. I got bones, I don't eat the bones. So earlier my friend said to me, I said, I'm about to go get some chicken feet for my soup. And he said, chicken feet, you gross. I said, I hell good though. And he was like, that's nasty. And then he said, do you eat the toenail and everything too? I said, no, you cut it. That's, that's weird. And he said, oh, but eating chicken toes ain't weird. I said, no, not at all. Mm. <laughs> Caution, this could get nasty. Mm. Yeah, there's some X Factor stuff, huh? Mm. You guys, I don't know what it is. When it comes to Asian food, or other food in general, I can eat it. But when it comes to like pasta and stuff, I really can't eat it like that. Because I'm lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant. Damn. Can you speak? Can you read right? <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Imagine me doing the Be Love cha challenge on this with no utensils and you and my fingers would have been sloppy. Mm. So how are you guys day going though? What did you guys do today? You know, you guys can always comment. And whatnot, and tell me if you guys want me to do something. If I can do it, I'll do it. If I can't do it, I can try to attempt to. Don't be outrageous, y'all. Don't be talking about, I want to see you eat 50 lobster tails, 20 pounds of pink crab legs, and whatnot, okay? Your girl in a budget. This is mukbang on a budget. Anyways. 
and you guys haven't let me know if there's something you guys like if you guys rather see me going out to eat well not going out to eat but buying the food bringing it home or if you guys want me to make homemade food and just eat it like or even something random something i haven't even made you guys comment and i can attempt to make it y'all can even see a video of me attempting to make it and see how big of a fail it is uh, I don't mind. I don't care. I'll try to. The motto is don't knock it till y'all try it. Okay, so if y'all in the comments talking about chicken feet nasty, that's nasty. Like I said, don't knock it till you try it. it. Tastes like chicken. You know when you guys eat chicken wings? That outside, like let's say if you grill it or bake it. To me, that's the texture of it. Other than, oops, sorry y'all, I just dropped my napkin. Oops. But yeah, that's the texture of it. And it, it honestly tastes like chicken. I know a lot of people out there be like, alligator tastes like chicken. Snake tastes like chicken. Frog tastes like chicken. That I don't know. Okay. But this this is chicken feet. So it tastes like chicken. Mm. I really wish I could feed y'all. Like, y'all, take a bite. Take a slurp. Mm. You know what's so crazy? Back home in Sac, when I was living with my parents, I didn't even cook. You could have thought I just didn't know how to cook, but it just never felt like I had to or anything. My stepmom always cooked, and it was nice. My parents, my stepmom and my dad. Mm. Thinking about it now. Oh my god, I was so lucky, y'all. Because I could you not. I cook every day. And my husband brings lunch to work. And I have to cook for him. If you notice, my husband hasn't been in any of my videos. Well, not at the moment. He probably will, but he don't eat what your girl eat you see this that for me for <laughs> my family will vouch for me my husband <laughs> eat like eat chicken damn near eat chicken every day he loves it you know what my friend told me or oh, told him okay by the way y'all uh, my friend is Half African American and Mexican. So the only like, ooh, racist or whatever, okay? Or don't take offense to it. He said, Oh my God, your husband eat more chicken than a black person. <laughs> I was dead, y'all. So I said, If that ain't the truth, he eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, y'all. And he could eat it every day. Every day. We, we eat it every day. And that's crazy. I thought I love chicken. No. This food do. Oh, and hot dog. Don't forget hot dog. He go in on some hot dog. Mm. I didn't want anyone to tell us, huh? Y'all know y'all want some. Y'all over there judging. Like, ooh, you know you want these toes in your mouth? Mm -hmm. Y'all seen that movie? <laughs> when that girl was like, stuck on my toes. And he was like, mm. And then, he pulled out that Tabasco. Dang, is that the movie with the guy? Is it Marlon Wayne? It's Marlon Wayne. Was that that movie? Where he had the pacifier up in his head? I think it was. And it was Sean Wayne that said it. I know the... I know their names. I know the two actors' names. I just don't know the names in the movie. And I don't know what the movie was called. Dang it. Well, uh, that's what this reminds me of. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. 
Could have in it, girl. Mmm. You know what I find very interesting? There's probably a number of people out there who are like me, my husband, and my friends and stuff. But if it's not your culture wise, or if it's not like pasta, hamburger, pizza, like, and also a lot of people will try it. You know what I'm saying? Like, sorry for talking low, guys. I'm not trying to show y'all the inside of my mouth. That'd be gross. Imagine being zoom, zoom, zoom in my mouth. But, like, you won't see people just go out there and be like, hey, I'm going to go try some Indian food. I'm going to go try some, you know, Arabic food. I'm going to go try some Greek food. No. It's usually, you stick to what you know. Cut up. I noticed before, I used to not do that. Like, I couldn't eat whatever. Like, that. like I could when it came to my food, but not the other food. Like, is it gyro or gyro? No, I'm so wrong for saying this. I don't know what the correct way. How am I going to speak on something and I don't even know I'll say a damn word? But, when I heard that it was mixed with lamb, the lamb, lamb beef, or just lamb, I said, that's gross. But one day I actually gave it a try. And it was really good. And I really like those. That's why, okay, broaden your horizons, especially when it comes to food. You never know. You might like something different out there. It might stink, but it tastes good. Papaya salad, y'all, it stank. It stank. I can't do it. It stank. But I eat it. Mmm. Like, once my family, one of my family members, whoever, mm. once they open that fadet, y'all know what fadet is? You know, fish sauces is worse. It's like a hundred times worse. Once they open that, I'm running out the door. Them flies is coming in. They swooping in. They coming in as a swarm. It's a whole army of flies coming in. It grows. Um, a mistake. <laughs> but you know what? One of my sisters, um, Beyonce, had uh, told me, or yeah, she let me know. She was like, hey, my fiance said, you should do a butt act challenge. I said, damn it, I ain't got no butt act here, but I really would. Because I know all of them would fail. Ain't no one going to take a shot of butt act or even try it. They would throw up, keeping it in their mouth, swallow it, drinking it. Like, they would throw up. You know why? Because I'll be the first to throw up. <laughs> But yeah, something to think about, right, guys? Maybe I'll do something like that the next video once I get some butt act. Mm. Yeah, I'm like really appreciating this food right now because I made it. No, your homegirl did not go to the store, to the restaurant, go get it to go, and put it in this pot, okay? Don't do me like that. I did it. I made it. I will tell y'all the recipes. It might not taste like what y'all like, but I will tell you it. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. If you notice in my videos, I tend to wipe my mouth a lot. It's because... Like, I don't know. If necessary, I'll let it run. But usually I don't. And y'all ain't even telling me if I got something on my face, on my cheeks or nothing. I'm out here looking like boo boo the fool. Boo boo the clown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Mm. Fun fact, you guys, I have never, I haven't gone to the movies ever since I had my son. Prior to that, so probably like two months prior to having my son, I haven't gone to the movies. And my son is nine months old. He was. He just turned nine months. Yeah. And I was like, dang, I really want some popcorn. And I'm talking about movie theater popcorn. Mmm. You guys, in San Diego, when I was there and I actually went to the movies. Oh my goodness. I was so shit. And then popcorn that was only like, what, $4 for a big bag? Yeah. You go to Sacramento, you ain't gonna get nothing for $4. You gonna get a little piece of candy like this big. Yeah. <laughs> Sacramento, that ain't how far. That's too damn expensive. So yeah. I want to, but. Yeah, there's a but. What's called? Ooh, I'm choked on the bone. The popcorn is gross out there. I asked the lady, cause on the sign where they show you, it said popcorn, $4. Fresh popcorn, $4. So I went up to her and I was like, excuse me. What's the difference between your popcorn and your fresh popcorn? And she was like, oh, nothing. It's the same thing. I was like, but it's this popcorn and fresh popcorn. She was like, they do that just because. I was like, okay. She gonna go uh, little, the underneath the counter. I don't know. Their display is so weird. Under Okay. So you know how they would usually have candy? The I don't know if all movie theaters are the same, so I can't speak for everyone. So don't quote me on this. But where they would display the chocolate bars. So this is the res register. Y'all see? Y'all see this? Look at this. A artist. <laughs> this is the register. Okay. This is the counter along. Then you have like underneath, so like like this underneath, you could see through it, okay? And they used to display candy on there. Well, that's how it is inside. For them, it's legit all popcorn. It's just popcorn in there, okay? But if you look at the popcorn through where you're at, it looks like that popcorn just on display, like it's a little picture or something like that, you know? I see her go like this, shoo, out of the register. <laughs> and then she gave me the damn popcorn. I was like, oh my god, this don't look right. And then, me and prior to her even giving me the popcorn, I said, yeah, I know y'all did this. A friend had told me this. So when you get the popcorn, and they say, would you like some butter? And you say, yes. And then they say, how much? And you say, this is what I say. Butter, can, I, can you do like butter, popcorn, butter, popcorn, butter, butter, popcorn, butter, popcorn, butter, 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 butter. Yeah, so the whole thing, the whole bag is just drenched, or the whole box. If you get large, like your girl right here, large, cause I'm large. Yeah, I get that. Don't be talking about, oh my God, you don't need it, sis. You don't need it. I need it. Okay. So, yeah, when I had told her, when, what's it called? I had told her that, that I did want my popcorn like that. She said, oh, the butter machine over there. I said, oh, damn it. I know what to do now. Cause all the popcorn is in the bag, so I said, "Can I get an extra tray?" I put, I split my popcorn, y'all. I split it all the way down, and I threw it in. I put the butter. I tried to see if I could revive it because it was hanging by a thread. When I tried the popcorn, it was so dang stale. You know, how popcorn when you eat it, it got a crunch. Like, okay, this one had a. Did y'all hear it? It was like a. What's that? Popcorn don't do that. Okay, when you eat popcorn, it should sound like you biting into a fresh cucumber. Oh my goodness, y'all. What is up with me? I'm like having like little burps or something. The heartburn or something coming back up. It's like, girl, you don't need it. Oh. And so out here, what? What was I going for my story? Oh, pretty much, yeah. San Diego don't got good popcorn. You can go to the movies for cheap, but they just don't got it. It ain't the place. And I've been missing really some Sacramento popcorn because I'm oh gonna. That's all I remember trying and eating. And, I was, and I'm just like, dang. So I told my husband, what's it called? Baby, can you go to go get some popcorn, please? 
well can you go to the movies i said can you go to the movies please or I was, nah y'all know y'all girl you know y'all girl did not do that i said baby remember how you said you want to go watch that movie you should go out you should go out and he said oh my goodness girl you let me off my leash i could go out and i was like don't do me nah he didn't say that he just said yeah i did want to go watch that movie i said you should invite your friend and you should go there and he said okay and i said on the way back don't forget a large popcorn and he said <laughs> y'all know i had to do that i want some dang popcorn i mean like i have gone to safeway walmart winko and all of that for to go look for some mom popcorn but i can't find it i don't like the bag popcorn i like it fresh mm -mm. maybe it's time to move back to sack y'all anyways oh y'all yeah, see, I ate most of my food. Oh, and I ate all the chicken feet. I had like four or five chicken feet up in here, and I ate it all. Mm, I have to sneeze. Hold it back so y'all don't see my boogers. Mm. Got a quail egg in my mouth, y'all. I gotta mix it. Mmm, burst the flavors. It's like eating a glitch and it goes. good y'all stay hydrated drink some water y'all but anyways thanks for watching guys i love you sarah gang like comment share subscribe dislike you guys know the deal i love you guys goodbye